By the way, guys, we are back, back, once again, back, once again. I got some new uh, breaking news, breaking news, uh, breaking news. This is 35 years in the making, 35 years in the making, the Live Aid concert. Live Aid concert was uh, a big, huge juggernugger of a, a Live Aid concert from Wembley Stadium, if you can believe it, from, any, from Wembley Stadium in 1985. This was before the Internet wave. This is before anybody in the whole world had internet capability. Um, 1985, in the summer of uh, July, that uh, July of that year, uh, that not year but month, July month, the 13th month, uh, no, 13th day. Uh, what was it again? It was July 13th, 1985. That was the day when Live Aid concert happened around the world. But it, it, they had a lot of instrument, and they had a lot of uh, rock bands at that time. But 1985 at Wembley Stadium and, and um, another stadium as well. So they did two stadiums uh, simultaneously. They did a Philadelphia Stadium. They did Wembley Stadium. 1985, 35 years ago today. Actually, 35 years ago this coming year. Is going to be the anniversary of Live Aid concert from 1985. Uh, the who's who is going to show up in the rock bands? They're going to tribute their time, uh, tribute their um, their music talents to the Live Aid concert. This is a charity concert. This is a charity concert going around the world uh, all day, all night, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Stay the art kind of equipment. They were going to beam the single all around the world so everybody can see it. The Live Aid concert from 1985 is 35 years ago t this year. Um, when Live Aid concert was first being out there. So I'm going to mention the, about the Live Aid concert when Bo uh, Bob Gildoff got it started with this Ethiopia stuff. Um, people in the other parts of the world didn't have uh, food for money. And uh, People are talking about the politics, why the politics didn't jump into this whole thing. And, uh, yeah, it was other people in the world were hungry. It wasn't, it wasn't like the United States or Canada where we had food at our grocery stores and stuff. Ethiopia people had to get it from, uh, from somewhere. So, Bob Gildoff, who was, uh, who came down here recently, has a book out and he started the Live Aid concert. He was from the Bootown Rats, by the way. That was his rock group. But he started up the Live Aid concert for a big venue, big venue as to who's, who's going to show up to the uh, rock concert. Like, any band members are going to show up. And this was mid-80s. This was 1985, so it was mid-80s. Um, I guess the bands from the mid-80s did came to this concert. And it's a big, huge charity concert that, that they had. For all around, it was a big, huge charity event, so it went 24 hours a day. It went night and day in this concert, night and day. And Wembley Stadium was the destination, the destination for this rock concert. At Wembley Stadium, I kid you not, folks. Uh, Wembley Stadium in London, England, by the way. This was in London, England. And Wembley Stadium, I don't know if it's still there now, but in 1985, Wembley Stadium was jam-packed with, with uh, hipsters, or they call it hipsters, uh, just went to Wembley Stadium and saw a bunch of rock concerts there. Um, it really, it was really good. There was the who was who's going to show up at the rock concert. I mean, any uh, rock band would tribute their time to this big charity event, and it was a big juggernugger of a rock concert. It would go like night and day until the next morning, essentially. And um, yeah, that's how they did it. That's how they did it back in those days. And so it was a big, huge charity rock concert. And you can go to, uh, it's at Wembley Stadium, big, huge Wembley Stadium in London, England. And 35 years later that you get to see all this on DVDs and Blu-ray, soon to be Blu-ray disc. Um, it was a big, massive, uh, and the group was there was, if you know Queen, the group Queen was there. The rock group Queen. They were there doing their famous songs there. Um... That was a big part of that, uh, that uh, Live Aid concert. And who showed up is uh, Bono from U2. There was a bunch of rock singers that show up. Madonna at the time, who uh, still had the uh, rocked out charts. She did a few of her songs. 
a lot of people attribute to this concert, I mean, to who was, who was going to show up. It was a long list of rock singers. It was mid-80s. Mind you, it was mid-80s, you know. So uh, the rock bands were about to come up. And the rock concert from yesteryears. So this is a big juggernaut for our days of days. So just like I said, this is a live that comes from 35 years ago this year. That it happened. On July 13th, mark it on your calendar, July 13th, uh, 1985, 35 years later, this concert happened. And in and, and all places, Wembley Stadium, big, huge Wembley Stadium. And it's, it's, it's done a lot of concerts there, a lot of concerts that happened there. Big, huge rock concerts. I mean, you can name a long the list of rock singers that actually played at Wembley Stadium. You get uh, John Bon Jovi, you get... Um, a whole bunch of them. Anyway, thank you guys for joining my podcast. Hope you appreciate it. Uh, anyway, that's...